how, how do you live as an, as an artist, as people who make their living in some ways, right, as, as artists, how do you do that well? What are your thoughts? Um, I think it's kind of recognizing your kind of like your place in the world and kind of what you mentioned of like the intention of what your what your purpose of going to create that art is. I always so like um, I think a good example is I don't think any necessary like symbols and stuff are evil in them in themselves either. So most of all symbols and different uh, past rituals and stuff that existed um, aren't necessarily evil. It's what they were driven towards that makes them evil. So even something like the upside down uh, cross or like something like the the upside down star of David and stuff in of itself is not necessarily evil. Um, it, it shows us a truth or an intentionality, uh, like a certain direction of life also. It's, it's when um, the intention of using those symbols is to sub sub subvert them to some extent, right? So like the upside down cross can be viewed as Satanist, but at the same time, we also have of Satanism, but we also have it with like St. Peter. Peter yeah. um, it's on the back of the Pope's. Uh, yeah, so it's, yeah. it's uh, it, the, there is a certain, we are, we are kind of like the mediators, like it said in Genesis of heaven and earth. So it's through that mediation of what we're trying to, I guess, incarnate into the world, whether we're participating of, trying to bring goodness and truth into it or trying to destroy it and bring about evil. But practically speaking, how do you do that? Um, I mean, I think like what- you, how do you do it? I mean, uh, once I think it's recognizing that some of this stuff doesn't come necessarily, like I'm not the mass, like I'm a sub creator and I'm kind of like collaborating with God. So it's recognizing that I'm not, I shouldn't be chasing novelty to show that I did this. Right. It should be like a collaborative effort where I participate with God to create something okay. so that other people can participate with oh, that experience. Okay. And so that's kind of like my frame. And as soon as I let go of the, how do I separate myself from other people or like how chasing like this novelty of like, how do I ch build basically my brand or something? Right. Art became much more of an enjoyable endeavor once I let go of trying to be like novel or like, how do I make this how do I make sure that people know Patrick Blonsky or something right. along the lines which some artists try to do? But, so once like, again, it comes from not looking inward, yeah. but instead looking outward. I like the co-creation, or not the co-creation, the sub-creation piece that you said too. I think when we, we did a Lord of the Rings episode not too long ago. Which got, I'm, on, I'm upset I wasn't a part of it. So <laughs> and we got really big into sub-creation and Tolkien, yeah. like sort of that, that mindset that he had going in. Other thoughts on that, just on how, how you do it, practically speaking. Everybody here is sort of coming from a different background of mm -hmm. like artistic expression or whatever you want to call it. How do you do that and do that right? Um, I mean, from the perspective of a dancer, but I think for any artist going into it with, first of all, gratitude for the gift and the art form, uh, recognizing that it's something from God. And I think too, with the world and everything and spirituality being so invisible, art is like a real tangible way to make god real okay and to me because it's like patrick was saying it's like you recognize you are co-creating with something mm -hmm. divine right. you know and you're not thinking of all these inspirational ideas they're they're being fed to you you know like the holy spirit is giving you those opportunities those ideas those moments of uh something new where are those ideas coming from in regards to a quote-unquote modern artist where, like what's the what's the what's the catalyst because I, I agree with you right if you're making art art that's true good and beautiful then it's coming from God but where is it if you're making art that's fake and ugly and <laughs> lies <laughs> like a banana taped to a wall <laughs> I mean there's two answers to that kind of I mean so there's there's a aspect where um, it's kind of like what you worship that decides what you make. So if you're worshiping yourself, you, you're kind of limited because you view it, because there is a sense of, I think all people kind of recognize that there's a certain brokenness or ugliness to us and that we're not completely perfect. And I think that shows when you try to base off anything that comes from you mm -hmm. um, and that's and, and solely from you. But there's an interesting thing where sometimes through someone's, like through that ignorance of not knowing that sometimes so something 
good comes out of it because through that ignorance like uh maybe another principality a good principality can work through you through that ignorance also like there and i think it's like in the eastern uh churches there's kind of like the saying that even uh like demons even even demons like pave the way for christ's return because in their own ignorance right. they're like building the road for christ to come back but they don't like recognize it and i think there's the same aspect to that of artists too where sometimes um uh what's it called like there's a sense of trying to show uh evil or something like that but through that process you have to look at what's good to know what's evil like there's a very common example of there's a metal band that tried to make mu yeah. music that was that was like super anti-catholic but they researched it so deeply that they all ended up converting <laughs> right. and so it's like it's like that kind of like like the darkness can lead to the light because of its like ignorance of not recognizing i guess what it's doing of like this pride that you think you're above yeah. like the patterns mm -hmm. of the world all right y'all thank you so much for watching this clip uh if you enjoyed what you're seeing here make sure you go and watch the whole video down below make sure you like and subscribe and share it with anybody else who you think might be interested